From the beginning, one of the hardest parts to cast would be Doris. The script asked so much of her, and we knew she was likely going to be an actress who was nine or ten years old. What's a scam? The lady said we were a scam. Well, Doris, you know, being as young as she is, uh, doesn't really understand what it means that her father is dead. When we first meet her, she's still talking to him at night before she goes to sleep. You used to pray every night with Daddy and me, but since he's gone, you never do. Doris hasn't yet realized that Dad isn't coming back. For her, Dad's just on the other side of some membrane that she can't quite put her finger on, but he's still there. He's always there for her. You're supposed to pray to God. I'd rather talk to Daddy. But when we first meet her, she's basically just a regular kid who wants to make everyone in her family happy again. She's a little girl with a big heart, a lot of empathy, and very little understanding of just what's happened to her family. I'm here. And she gets drawn into this Ouija situation, unbeknownst to her. Hi, friend. That's why I think these ghouls and these spirits like prey on her specifically, is because she's like, oh, it's my dad who's talking to me. Who are you? No, they're, <laughs> they're creatures that are trying to possess you and kill you. It is really difficult to find young actors who are talented enough to pull off this much material in a, in a script. The audition process was actually a lot of fun. Want to hear something cool? Sure. Well, the strangled to death scene was the first thing I memorized. Lulu Wilson came in. She had prepared a monologue from the film. Do you know what it feels like to be strangled to death? She says, do you know how, what it feels like to be strangled to death? And then proceeds to, to explain it in incredible detail. Your eyes water. And you start to taste something very, very sour in your mouth. She came into her audition with that entire monologue memorized um, and performed it almost exactly the way she does in the film. Then it's like someone lights a match right in the middle of your chest. When I got the script, that was actually one of the first things I read. And my heart, like, leapt out of my chest when I saw it. And the hairs on my arms stood up. It fills your lungs and your throat. And all the way behind your eyes. And finally, that fire turns to ice. I almost fell off, off my chair. She delivered it casually, innocently, and with a smile, which was such a sophisticated choice, and exactly how I wanted it to be read in the film, um, that I, I felt immediately like this, this young actress uh, is leagues ahead of, of her time. And the last thing you feel is cold. Lulu Wilson is a great actress and able to sell that creepiness just with a look. Doris, would you be willing to? That, to me, when I first saw her in a scene, I thought, oh, well, this, this is going to work. She's a little hard to hear. Doris was the part we were the most concerned about, but we were so lucky to find Lulu. I'm grateful every day that we did. She elevated this movie in a really remarkable way, and I, I think it's incredibly rare to see a child actor capable of anything like that.